To balance the equation, HClO3 plus MgOH2, let's count the atoms up on both sides, and let's be real careful because it's easy to miscount the oxygens and hydrogens. We have one hydrogen plus, then we have two times the one here. We have two hydrogens there, so three total hydrogen atoms. One chlorine, three oxygens, plus this two applies to everything in parentheses. So we have two times the one oxygen. So we have three plus the two, five oxygen atoms, and then one Mg. On the product side, we have two hydrogens, two times the one chlorine, two times three, that's six oxygens, plus the one oxygen here in water, that gives us seven, and then one magnesium. So we got that, the rest should be pretty straightforward. I like to leave the hydrogens and oxygens to last when I'm balancing, so I'm gonna balance the chlorine atoms first. I'll put a two in front of the HClO3, now it looks like I need to update all this though. I have one times the two, that gives me two hydrogens, plus I have these two times the one over here, four hydrogen atoms. One times the two, two chlorines, so we balance the chlorines. Oxygens, three times two is six, plus two times the one, that gives us two. So we have eight oxygen atoms. Let's fix the hydrogens, that might even fix the oxygens. We have four here, and two over here. If I change my coefficient to two, two times two, that'll give me four. Hydrogens are balanced. The two, it applies to everything. So let's update the oxygens. We have two times three, that gives us six, plus one times the two, that gives us two, and it does, eight. So everything is balanced. The key here, again, being very careful counting the hydrogens and the oxygens as you balance the equation. This is Dr. B. And thanks for watching.